You're watching UNICEF Television. As UNICEF launches its Humanitarian Action for Children report, Director of Emergency Programs Louis George Arsenault discusses the importance of dealing with major as well as forgotten emergencies. This year, we, uh, it's, a, it's a continuity of last year in many ways because one third of the focus for 2012 will continue to be on the Horn of Africa, the famine that was declared earlier this year. And um, with much more focus this year, however, on Somalia and the refugee situation in uh, Dadaab in, in, uh, in, in eastern uh, Kenya. But also what is looming in the Sahel, where there are eight countries which uh, uh, we are preparing for the worst case scenario for yet possibly uh, another famine. These are the population, the people, the countries which are under the radar screen. They're not, they're not hitting the news, they're not headlines, but there are situations where people are very vulnerable and they need the support more than ever. And there are several countries like this in, in, in uh, two or three continents that need the sustained support. And that's why we are advocating to this report, annual report, that these countries receive greater attention. If you look at the, the trend over the last few years, it's quite extraordinary because 2010, 2011 have been amazing years. We thought that we would be able to bit breed, but in fact what we are seeing is that there's a, there's a continuum. Uh, we, UNICEF has raised almost a billion dollar average over the last two years for humanitarian action, which is unprecedented in terms of what is being called for, a, a 1.28 this year, 1.4 last year. And but what is unprecedented is not only what is appealed for, but the, the resources that we've been receiving, because the number of crises are not decreasing, the complexity and scale and number of people affected are not decreasing, either through conflict and very much now more and more on natural disasters, which we are dealing with by hundreds every year. You've been watching UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. Unite for Children.